So I'm going to tell you that one year program is actually enough for you to get your permanent residence here in Canada. Like basically most people usually believe they need to get, go for a two years program before they can get their PR here in Canada. So dear immigrants watching this video, I want you to know that with a one year program, it's absolutely enough for you to get your PR. It even saves you more. Like really, I am actually regretting. Okay. So. I, I went for a two year program and my school fees is over $35,000. And you, who wants to go for a one year program for like 18,000 or 12,000, you can also get your PR same time with me, who is going for my two years program. So like, really, I know a lot now because now I am in Canada. If I have the power, if I have the ability to change the hands of the clock, yeah, I'm going to go for a one year program and i would have saved an extra seventeen thousand canadian dollars if i had known so do not make this mistake that i made because you have options of going for a one year program but if i lay down and i play dead and i stay dead maybe you get so how do we go about it the first thing I would want you to know is when you are choosing any school in Canada, ensure that that school is a DLI. I always tell you all the time that a DLI is a designated learning institution and ensure that that school give a postgraduate work permit. Okay. And then while applying for your visa, make sure you choose a course that is in line with your work experience, especially if you have a study gap. So what's a study gap? It's study gap is when you graduated from school and now you are applying to come school in Canada and for the past three years you have not been in any academic institution okay so your work experience is what is going to cover up for those study gap so now let's go back to business how you can get your PR in one year as an immigrant who is coming into Canada to school I always advise people to apply in the Atlantic region area of Canada because in these particular regions, it is very easy for one to get their PR because of how their immigration process is. Okay, so the, the provinces we have in this Atlantic region include Nova Scotia, New Brunswick, Prince Edward Island, and Newfoundland and Labrador. So if you can do well to a car is coming. So if you can do well, if you can do well to apply for schools in this area, really in one year like within a year you graduated from your studies because if you go for a one-year program you actually get a one-year postgraduate work permit and if you go for a two years program you are going to get a three years postgraduate work permit but really it doesn't matter because within a year you are still going to get your pr and your other two years is re really it's a waste like i am telling you it's a waste most of the acquaintances that i've met here in New Brunswick, where I am, they all got three years postgraduate work permit. But guess what? Within one year, they all got their PR. So what's the remaining two years for? I also have acquaintances who went for one year program and they already have their PR. And that is why I am making this video. So immediately after you graduate from your one year program, the first thing you have to do is to apply for your postgraduate work permit on the IRCC portal and also go ahead to submit an expression of interest province to nominate you under the international graduate stream okay and during this stream for you to apply for this is usually free you do not need to make any amount you don't need to pay any money it's free so upon doing this you are going to get a nomination certificate and it takes within a week so you can get this within a week but i have a friend who got has within 30 minutes this is going to give you automatical six 100 points in your express entry which you should also apply for immediately you graduate in fact as you are graduating you are applying for your express entry and you are applying for your postgraduate work permit too since you have that 600 points in your account 
for the fact that you have other points in your account for example points for your degree for your work experience and all of that you will then receive an ita what's an ita an ita is an invitation to apply okay so the ilcc is going to invite you to apply for your pr and then you have to go to the portal and then you upload all of your documents in the account so the documents they are going to mention everything you need to do i heard that these days you might need to go for uh, medicals and all of that but not to worry at least there will be a checklist of everything that you need to upload in the portal they will tell you everything so my friend the, the moment she applied for hers she got her ita instantly like even before she left her laptop she got her ita immediately for her to submit her document and then that was when she found out that she needed to do go for medicals and all of that and she did everything and then she's uh now waiting for her pr to be approved okay and i know that she's gonna get it like every everyone who has been doing it here in new brunswick and labrado in nova scotia and newfoundland all know that pr is usually gotten within one year so I thought to share this with you guys you know i'm always bringing in lots of important informations like things that will make you save money things that will make you save costs things that will make you not to spend lots of money okay so if you think this video was helpful as usual drop all of your comments in the comment section i'll see you in the next video and if you have subsequent questions like anything that has to do with uh pr stops visa application drop all of your comments in the comment section and i'll see you in the next video take good care and bye bye but if i lay down